welcome back to Mighty Dad Plays. And right now, what we're doing is that we're putting the plants into the terrarium. And as you see here, I'm starting out with the uh, fluffy fur. Some of you may be wondering as to why I'm keeping the soil around the roots while planting. It's because these particular brands, I guess you could say, actually use real soil, not that potty mix with the foam in it and artificial fertilizers or anything else like that. As you can see, everything that I pull out, the solid black moist material. Lovely for planting in actual terrariums. Usually it's advised to clean the roots off before adding plants to any type of terrarium, but my figuring is, and my experience, is that the bioactive terrarium itself, along with the isopods and everything else, this actually contributes a lot more nutrients to the soils and allows for a natural transition for the plants. I need to model vacuum. <laughs> okay. You know what you should totally do? Hmm. Do you know in those videos when somebody does something and they do like a close up without like nobody's hands or anything? Mm -hmm. You should totally do that. Yeah. You want to do that? Yeah. After you put you on. You know the... how to do a wave through? Yeah. Okay. Then we'll do that. What do you have to do after you put the plants in? Yeah, that's the plan. No, what are you doing after those plants? Right. What? No, what's the next step after the plants? Oh, what's the next step? Are you asking? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so after the plants, I'll have to take a look. So, why? I know. I just want to... Just curiosity? Yeah. Okay. I don't know off the top of my head. I'm it's not going to... Your plants too... I'm focusing on the plants right now. It's too big. Yeah, it is. turn it up later. Too specific way you know, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to do it specifically so it doesn't die? Well, yeah, just cut the, cut the, it's like cutting grass. This is grass. Yeah, but it's <laughs> not just like any type of grass. No, it isn't. <laughs> what you do? <laughs> Now that I'm sitting on my legs here and shit's hurting. So, do me a quick favor. Mm -hmm. I actually can't do it, you're filming. So, I'm thinking about putting that hidey hole right here. I was going to put it somewhere else. Actually. I need pasta to go. No, no, it's fine. Put it over here, right? I'll we'll put the hidey hole there. And I'll we'll put this grass at the back there. Right back here. I'm gonna have it spread out. This one's being a hell of a lot more agreeable than the other one. So I'm able to split it up. Ooh, yes. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. Split up just perfect. I have to put the roots under. What? Okay, in a minute. Okay, can I finish this?
All right, as you can see, we finished the base planting of the terrarium. Now comes the living part of it, the isopods. We're gonna go ahead and add these little guys in. If you look in real close, all they are is just really pulleys. However, these are powder blues and oranges. See, we got an orange right here. So the, this is our cleanup crew. crew. They're gonna help us maintain the tank keep everything nice and clean. Those orange things, by the way, are carrots if you haven't been able to figure that out yet. So, just drop them in, just like that. Make sure the container is empty, and let them go to work. They're gonna start scurrying around, looking for new homes. Now, to finalize everything that we have completed together, as you can see, this tank here, may not be professional, may not be perfect. I have a home here for a big man, for the snake, along with watering holes, along with grass. And as you can see here, we have our isopods. There he is. We still see some of the netting, but that's gonna sink in once I start adding in some water. Now, here comes the fun part. Our new inhabitant is a garden phase Amazon tree boa. He might be a little snippy. He's been in this bag for quite some time today while I've been able to been setting this up. So let's see. He's probably been cold most of the time too. There you are, gorgeous. As you can see, he's probably about two, maybe three years old, and he is just running through my hands. He's ready to go. Let's get you into your new environment, okay? So you can be at peace for a little bit. It's situated. There. A little difficult here. <laughs> he's not used to being handled, as you can see. But once we get him in there, there we are. Now, he's gonna panic a little bit. He's been in the dark. Look at that. Gorgeous specimen of a male. Rather large. The Amazon tree bones really do not require much space, they just require peace. So, let's let them get settled in. I'm going to turn those lights off here in just a moment. Let him settle in for the night because I'm pretty sure he's exhausted. He wants to warm up. We have a heating pad on the bottom of that terrarium there. We installed it er earlier. As you can see under here, there it is. It's right under his little hut there. So he's probably gonna crawl in there at some point. He's gonna pick up on it because of his heat pits. And he's gonna crawl in there and hang out, get warm. Tomorrow we might see some more activity. And in the meantime, as always, like, subscribe, and thank you for joining Mighty Dead Place.